Okay? So it's not just that they don't make inferences, it's that they don't make specifically communicative inferences that has that structure. Now, young children, not only do they do this simple common ground, uh, like in the, in, in the study that I first showed you where they know that the, food, that the toy is over here because you pointed over here, we did a study where we actually manipulated uh, common ground. So um, what we have is the child, there are going to be two conditions, and in both conditions, that you can see under the co where it says common ground and no common ground, but under both conditions, the child and an experimenter are cleaning up toys. So their toys spread out all over the room, and they put them in the basket, put one in the basket, put another, the child puts one in, the experimenter puts one in, and there's one toy left over here in this particular place, and the experimenter, in the context of doing this, points over to the toy like this, doesn't say anything, and the infant immediately knows, okay, there's another one to be put away, and gets it and puts it away. Okay, that's the normal case. In the other condition, we do exactly the same thing. We're putting away toys, we're putting away toys, the infant puts one away, I put one away, but then another person enters the room and points to that same exact toy in that same exact location. And now the child, even though the child's head is in exactly the same place, I'm putting away toys in a shared context, that person was not part of the shared context. They just came in the room. So now when they point, the child either looks at it and kind of smiles like, yes, it's a nice toy, or sometimes they get it and go give it to the other person. They don't throw it away in the bucket. How could they? This person doesn't know we're putting away toys. They weren't there when we set up that context. So children track, and we have about, I would say, four or five studies showing that children in this 14 to 18 months, they're just getting started in language. A 14 to 18 month old child will know a few words or the precocious ones, a couple of dozen, but not so many. Um, and they are tracking what they've shared with particular individuals and what they haven't shared with particular um, individuals. Um, and just to show you that the sharedness even works with iconic gestures, iconic gestures maybe require a little bit less strong context, but still uh, they require a good bit. This one, um, actually, I'm gonna t I'll tell you an, an anecdote from the airport instead of this one because it's the same basic idea. Because I was in the airport like a last trip I took before this one, and there's a, little, a fairly little child, maybe about four years old, about the age of this one, three or four, going through the airport security and they set off the beeper or whatever, and the uh, security guy has his little magic wand there, and as the child is there, and he kind of does this, and then he looks at her and he goes like this, and she looks back up at him and he goes. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. So, so uh, okay, so to interpret this, you have to know about airport security control procedures and what he's likely to want given the structure of airport security control procedures that he wants you to turn your body around. The finger itself doesn't tell you that it's, it's the body that he wants you to turn around. That little girl does some, in that video does something fairly similar. Um, and to, just to show you how sophisticated this can get with fairly young children, these are uh, three-year-old children. Uh, this is the same, uh, this is um, Christine Liebal who did the same study about the cleaning away the toys. So we decided, we had a slightly different idea about cleaning away the toys. We do the same thing with the child. We're cleaning away the toys, we're cleaning away the toys, putting them in the basket, and then she points to this box, and if she points to the box in a kind of a normal way, the child goes over, picks up the box, and cleans it away. Just that's the normal case. But if we're doing this, we're putting away toys, we're putting away toys, and then she looks at the box and she kind of goes, and makes this marked thing. Linguists would talk about marked um, utterances or marked pieces of uh, language. And, but she does this funny thing. The child goes over, opens up the box, looks what's inside, finds the toy inside, and puts that away. So what the kid is doing is somehow reading that your marking of this with this special expression, this special uh, facial expression, means that I'm not supposed to make the normal inference. The normal inference would be, let's throw away the, the box. She's kind of trying to block the normal inference by making this funny face at me. She wants me to do something different. She wants me to make a different inference, and, um, and they do that um, um, quite well. That, those are three-year-olds, though. Those are older than the other kids I'm talking about. That's a more sophisticated inferential process. Um, okay, now let's talk just a little bit about common ground in production. That was the child's use of our shared understanding of the situation in their comprehension, but in production, so I've showed you this yesterday, but I just want to, sorry, I showed you this on uh, Wednesday, and just show you again, they're gonna, trying to pull this tube apart, there's a toy inside, and the adult's going to um, do a bad job of it, and she's going to say, and the kid is going to say there. I mean, for me, this is the primordial situation, something like this, 
square human pointing arose in evolution. Picture two cavemen trying to pull apart something here, okay? They're working together for something, and this is helping to coordinate the shared activity. Look over there, do this, uh, it's time to do that. I have a, just another one again. I showed you guys this one before also on Wednesday, but it, I, didn't, I didn't highlight the pointing. Okay, I was a little late with it, but okay, again, the, the, the ball goes off of the uh, trampoline and points saying, let's put it back on there, okay? So in one case, the pointing means pull your end of the tube. In this case, it means put the ping pong ball back on the trampoline. Right? The pointing has completely different meanings, completely contextualized in the shared context, and the shared activity sets that. So that's the basic idea of common ground in production, that children use that. Um, uh, whoops, we get the wheel of death. Why are we getting the wheel of death? Uh, okay. Um, okay, so, um, and, and this, uh, this is a version where uh, th now, these are, my, these are younger children again. These are 14 and 18 months old. And the child shares um, a little bear with one experimenter. So she plays with these toy bears with one experimenter. And she plays with toy ducks with another experimenter. So she spends a minute playing with toy bears with this guy and a minute playing with toy ducks with this guy. Then the child enters the room with either one of the experimenters. Everything counterbalanced, of course. And she enters with one of the, or two of the experimenters. In this case, I, I show E2. And when she comes in with E2, guess what she points to? She points to the bears as being relevant to E2 because that's what we played with. But look, there's another one of those. And if she comes in with E1, she points to the duck. Look, there's another one of those. So again, this is another one of the studies where the infant has kept track of what I've shared with her and what I've shared with her. And uh, I know what's relevant to each of them. What's relevant is there's another one of those. And, and, and this is something we do every day that when you say, I mean, again, just assimilate this to your, hum your experience. If you share, you and somebody else are really big basketball fans, you know, and, and across campus here comes one of the Virginia basketball players, and you say, oh, look, there's so-and-so or whatever. But if your friend's not a basketball fan, and you've never shared that, and you've never talked about it, then you wouldn't point it out. It wouldn't be particularly interesting or relevant. So we keep track of what we share and what things are important with different people all the time, and this structures what we think they're going to be interested in, and therefore what we find it um, interesting to communicate about. Okay, and finally, in this production, this was uh, this this uh, this is not very good. So don't pay attention to this. Let me let me do my Panama uh, thing here. Uh, so we call this the uh, the Chinese buffet uh, experiment because the, the 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 idea for it was people say. One of, the thing, one of the limitations of pointing, and, it, and it's true, but one of the limitations of pointing is you can't point at things that aren't right here in the here and now. And it, in some sense, that's clearly true. But think about a case like where, uh, um, let, let's, say, in a, let's say back in early humans, that we've over here, we've gone over to the, to the lake over here, and there's often there's antelope over at the lake, and sometimes there's antelope over there, and it's really exciting. And today, I come back, walking in that direction, and I come to you and I go, Okay, so there's no antelope to point to, but in some sense, you know from our past experience, from our common ground about going over to the lake in that direction, you know that's what I mean. So we wanted to capture that here in our Chinese, the Chinese buffet is that if you're in line in the Chinese buffet and the cashew chicken is gone and it's an empty pan to the server, you point to the empty pan, he doesn't think you're pointing to the pan. He doesn't think you want to hand him the pan or any, anything else. He knows you, because of the context of the restaurant and what, you, what he knows you want, etc., uh, he knows you want him to go back in the kitchen and get some more cashew chicken and bring it back and give you some. 